Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we are using Kat Von D's Saint and Center palette. And we are using the center side today to create this eye look. So if you wanna see how I created this eye look, you're gonna have to stay tuned. If you also wanna know how I, how I rank this palette on a scale of one to 10, you're also gonna have to stay tuned. But, this palette absolutely is stunning. I love the craftsmanship of the outside of the palette. It's it's just beautiful. It really, really reminds me of traveling over to Scotland and seeing some of the beautiful castles and Sweetheart Abbey in particular, although Sweetheart Abbey did not have the stained glass. It also reminds me of a church that is in Savannah that has these types of architecture and the stained glass look. So again, when Kat Von D was going to put this palette out, I the the sneak preview was coming and it seemed like it took years for it to actually come out when actually it was only a couple months, but I'm um, I just love the craftsmanship and the look of this palette and very very excited to use it. So, my first look is from the center side of the palette. Again, um, you're gonna hear how these these colors blend, how they look, and anyway, so if you wanna see kinda how this all comes together, stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm real excited because I am going to use the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. So I think we're gonna start out with a little center. I'm gonna do two different looks with this palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of, of traveling through Scotland and seeing, I think it was called Sweetheart's Abbey, uh, except it didn't have the stained glass because it was so old, but it's kind of the stained glass look in this palette was exactly why I had to have it. It just reminds me of traveling abroad and how beautiful the architecture is. America and, you know, really just doesn't have overall the history that so many of the other countries do so it's always and I'm always enamored by some of these super old buildings with just they're just stunning so anyways we're gonna um, play a little bit today so we're gonna stay on the cent the center side and I think for our transition color we're gonna use the color Martyr. Ooh, I like that color. This one has kind of a luxury suede tan leather kind of look that's just yummy. Ooh, a camel color. I this actually reminds me. I have a purse that I absolutely love and adore from Coach that's this color. I think that's why I'm like, oh, oh. In fact, once we get unpacked, then I will find that purse and I'll do an eye look with my purse. Anyways, it's too early, right guys? So I'm doing my transition a little bit higher than I normally do. I really want to get it closer to the brow bone for right now. I can always lighten it later, but I definitely want it close to the brow bone with the look I have kind of in mind. I'm also going to take kind of that excess of the martyr and kind of go down a little bit and just add a tiny bit of color just using what was left on the brush to bring it down into the inner corner. So the next part, I guess I'm kind of going to jump around a little bit, so bear with me. I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs pencil. So it's the Marc Jacobs in Blacka. Blacker. Blacka. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lid. And get a little crazy. And I'm gonna switch off to this brush and we're gonna see how well that smudges it out. Oh, 
Well, alrighty then. Okay, so we definitely have the start to a smoky look. And that blacker for Marc Jacobs, the bomb. He's Lord be with me today. We're gonna go to Stigmata, Stigmata, Potato, Potata, which is a red color. And I'm gonna go a little bit into the crease and slightly above it. So that's another reason why I took the martyr color and I went up a little higher. This red I didn't want super intense, I, so I didn't put the blue up underneath it. I was okay with whatever red came out of it. And actually, for a red not having a base underneath it, this is a pretty kicking red. I have to say I'm impressed. The other thing I'm impressed about is this doesn't have so far, maybe Martyr had a little bit more, but this doesn't have a lot of fallout, which is nice. It's got just the right amount of fallout. Also, these are blending really nice, which is fantastic. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take Sabbath. I'll probably go ahead and use that same brush I just had the red on. Not a lot of fallout on the black, which I guess is good considering I don't have any shields and I already have my makeup set. But now I'm going to work my way up with this black. I'm also using a slightly light hand because down here I'm fine, you know, pressing a little harder. Up here, I'm going kind of light, little swirly motions, and that is a technical term, swirly. What I, I want is it to go from going really, really jet black to kind of lightening up as it goes up. But you can still see the red and you can still see a little bit of the tan, and that's exactly what I was hoping for. Now let's see if we can do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, I kind of lied, I think. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. That might be the center side of me. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this color called Amen. That one does have more fallout. And I'm just going to pick up right up underneath the eyebrow. Maybe just a tad right there. Okay, I think I really like using the red going up. I think that's fun. Okay, so I'm going to take the blacker and kind of line the bottom eyelash line. Took me a second to figure out what I was going to do. I'm also going to go on the inner waterline. And as a side note, my face is peeling because I've stepped up using the Retin-A at night. I've moved it to every other night. So you can kind of tell that my face is peeling. Okay, I'm going to use a fine tip brush, picking up the Sabbath again. I'm going to go right over the top of the blacker. And as I, I only went about halfway, well, maybe three quarters of the way with the blacker because I wanted to take really use the Sabbath to kind of smoke it out a little bit and then by the time I got to more towards the inner corner line it did it went darker and then lighter kind of like we did going this way okay so now I'm gonna pick up stigmata again and just kind of trace a little bit below that black line I really like the red and black. That is fun. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat my eyelashes and then we're gonna add some false eyelashes. Not that we'll even be able to see them with all this black. So y'all, I know I'm, I'm not as chatty in this video as normal. Oh my God, I have not been sleeping. I have not slept in three days. So I thought, okay, anyone that knows me knows I don't work out, which is why I've gained so much weight. Well, no, my overeating is why I've gained so much weight. But, um, so I told my husband, I said, now that you're here, your job is to get me back to skinny or just lighter, not skinny. I don't want to be skinny. Um, so anyways, we went to the gym last night and I really thought that was going to help me because man, I was tired. You know, when you are not physically fit and I'll tell you what, there's probably a good 90 year old or 95 year old that could beat me in a foot race. So anyways, I told him he, you know, he had to take me to the gym, get me back to, you know, a normal size. And then hopefully that helped me sleep. No, no. So for the people that said, Amy, you need to work out. It'll make you tired. Yeah, it made me tired until it was time to go to bed and then I was back up. So not only did I actually work out, which is not Amy improved, I wouldn't really call it a workout. That would kind of make it sound like I was really trying super hard. We gotta take this thing, you know, one step at a time. No pun intended. Let's not get crazy. I wasn't tired till I went to bed. And then I was like, or I was tired till I went to bed and I was like, hello, sunshine. Great, it's gonna be day number three without sleep. We're gonna let those dry down a minute and then I'm gonna put a final coat. So I'm gonna go do something with my hair. And as always, I'll return. Thank you so much for joining me using the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. Oh my God, this palette is amazing. So if I'm gonna rate it on a scale of one to 10, so far I'm giving it an 11. I mean, the presentation is fantastic. I mean, it is gorgeous. So it feels very sturdy and I love these mirrors, although you can see my little fingerprints on them. I love the bright colors. So I've really been getting into bright colors over this last year, just using them as accent colors. And then I'm really looking forward to doing kind of a softer look with these ones. Now, as far as the one that I really, I kind of wanted to swatch the ones I didn't use. This Rapture color is gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh. We'll pick up some ministry, some vestment, and some relic. And let's see how those do. So check that out. These colors are just fun. So anyways, right now I give it an 11. The colors went on super nice. They blended amazing. Um, as you can see, they just did really, really good. Fallout really kind of depended on which color you used, but it didn't, it wasn't like some palettes where a couple of them have a little bit of fallout and then some others just look like you ate through the pan in a few swipes. Y'all know who I'm talking about, but really and truthfully, this one, the fallout did vary from color to color, but it was so minuscule. It's not like it's a big deal, but it, there is a little bit of variance. Um, overall, I, I just love this palette. I mean, I think as long as you don't get afraid of the bright colors, I think you could really, really enjoy this. But again, the bright colors are more to me as accent colors. I think people look at bright colors and go, oh, I'm gonna do a whole eye of fluorescent yellow. You're not gonna do a full eye like that. But um, I'm hoping you got to see how you could do a smoky eye using a couple colors in there. And again, we used the Martyr, Stigmata, Sabbath, and then we cheated and stole a little bit from the Saint side using Amen. So I really enjoyed how this came out with the red. It just looks fun. I think it looks fun. 
Um, but I do thank you for joining me using this palette. I I love it. But I do love Kat Von D's product. She's she's very particular about what she puts out, and I always feel comfortable about buying her products because they are high quality, they blend well. She's not like some of the other makeup companies that when you buy their palettes, you're not gonna know what you're getting into. And you also probably know from some of my other videos who I'm talking about, her stuff is always consistent, which is why I'm always confident when I buy her stuff. I don't worry like some other companies. Um, what am I gonna get? Am I gonna have to return this? Because it's not what it says. That's a bummer, but anyways. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Did you like my center look? And do you have any other ideas for that bright palette, that bright side? Because it was a lot of fun. Um, I do appreciate y'all joining. And as always, I want to thank you. And so you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.